Being able to bounce back from a night out is probably the ultimate testament to health. It doesn't matter how healthy you are, it doesn't matter how health conscious you are, it's still a reality that we have to face. Sometimes we go out. How do you recover from a hangover? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down how glutathione and exogenous use of glutathione through a supplement might be one of the best ways to help your body recover. But I wanna explain in some science how glutathione works and how it's a natural part of your body's detoxification process and also a part of your body's recovery process. You see, when you take a sip of a drink, your body begins a process of converting that alcohol into something called acetaldehyde. The liver does this. The liver converts the alcohol from ethanol into acetaldehyde. It does this with a particular enzyme, okay? It's called ethanol dehydrogenase. It breaks it down into acetaldehyde, and then from there, the body breaks it down even further into something as simple as a vinegar-like substance. Okay, but here's the thing. That acetaldehyde is extremely, extremely toxic. I mean really toxic, like 30 times more toxic than ethanol. Most people think that when they take a sip of alcohol, it's the alcohol that's very toxic. Well, it's not exactly the best thing, but it's what the body converts it to that's truly toxic. So that acetaldehyde that the body converts it to creates havoc throughout the body. And it's up to your body to combine a couple of naturally existing components to neutralize that. It comes down to two things. It comes down to acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. It comes down to glutathione, the thing that we are hearing a ton about lately. And what that glutathione does is it neutralizes it. It allows the body to catch up, and since glutathione is prevalent in the liver, it helps the liver actually detox from the alcohol itself. Now a hangover. What exactly are you experiencing when you have a hangover? You're experiencing a depletion of glutathione. Basically, your body is so toxic at that point that your glutathione stores have been depleted and you don't have enough glutathione to neutralize the alcohol or the acetaldehyde. So you're left with this overabundance of acetaldehyde in the body, quite literally leaving you in a toxic state. The feeling of a hangover in the morning, when you feel nauseous, when you feel sick, when you feel green in the face, is truly coming from you being toxic and not having enough glutathione to mitigate that. The good news is there's glutathione that you can take in supplement form, and there's things that you can do with your diet to help promote glutathione production so that this doesn't always have to be the case. But here's the thing, it's not entirely our fault. You know, I think that probably 50, 60 years ago, alcohol didn't have as much of an impact on us as it does now. Simply because we have so many external factors out in life today that are already depleting our glutathione stores. See, our glutathione stores are what are responsible for detoxing the body from just about anything. They occur in every single cell, every cellular function in our body. So that means heavy metals in the fish that we eat, all the toxins in the air that we breathe, Heck, the stress that we incur, our relationship stress, our work stress, our lack of sleep, heck, even a hard workout can all deplete our glutathione stores. So then, when we do have a drink of alcohol, it makes us much more susceptible to having a hangover. Now, this wouldn't be a typical Thomas DeLauer video if I didn't reference some kind of case study. And the particular case study that I wanna to bring to light in this case talks about the gut mucosal layer. One thing that I didn't mention earlier, and this is quite important, is if you've ever had a hangover and you had that sort of sour stomach, almost that pain, sometimes you end up with some diarrhea, you feel really kind of cruddy, well, that may very well be due to the fact that your glutathione stores in your gut mucosal layer are depleted. And that means that the acetaldehyde can attack your gut that much more. So what this case study looked at is they looked at participants that had endoscopies done. Okay, these endoscopies looked at their gut mucosal layer and that macroscopic damage, meaning the actual layer from the big picture of the gut lining. When glutathione levels were depleted, they had much more damage incurred to the gut when exposed to ethanol, in this case, alcohol, right? But when glutathione was supplemented, there was significant reduction in damage to the macroscopic layer of the gut meaning we were potentially able to reduce the actual impact of alcohol on the gut by supplementing glutathione. This is just a small instance of how glutathione can affect the gut, but it also displays what glutathione can do to the big picture of the human body. You see, glutathione is so new when it comes to emerging research, we've only hit the tip of the iceberg with what it can do as a result of a hangover. But think about everything else. Think about every other miniature hangover that's occurring in your life, whether it's from alcohol, again, whether it's from stress, whether it's from eating the wrong food and exposure to a lot of sugars. We're always under this chronic stress that's causing inflammation. 
if we can start addressing the root of it and start paying attention to our glutathione stores, whether it be through the right foods or through proper supplementation, we may very well hold in our hands the very specific key that we need to detox our bodies from the inside out. So as always, keep it locked in here with Thomas DeLauer and be sure to check out Core Factor Glutathione so that you can make sure that you're getting the most out of your life and the most out of your social life. I'll see you in the next video.